Return. Yes, that, yeah. that timeline entire, maybe it's hail damage from yesterday. The entire <laughs> internet just went, you know what? I, you know, Jonas just made me sick. Fuck you, Grimoth. I'm done. <laughs> Tapping out. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's basically how it went. He just wanted to be an asshole to Antaria. Oh, yes. Mm. Well, duly loaded. No, well, Nary's going to ask her if you got anything done this month. <laughs> There was some interruptions, Matron. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice to give Tether Quill a break from time to time, you know, but he exerted his wrath upon the soldiers, so now they have horror stories. How are we even supposed to prepare for that if he just walks off invisible and climbs over the wall? <laughs> what if he blinds us? I hate him so much. Like, really, it's going to be public enemy number one. I was cool with that. You need someone to take the flag off of her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tristan is not amused. The diplomat, I suppose, is a fine position for that. <laughs> so Shoot at the diplomat, not at the leader. Not well. Is really not going to join us anytime soon? Yep. He's probably going to have to load the map. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's already there. I mean, he, he was there first. He, yeah, as soon as he got the warning that, oh, really, your family's returning. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Quickly, God, hey. hi you know, hide all of, like, the, the papers, like, all the things he smuggled with the diplomatic, you know, adventures. Yep. Roll up the beautiful, like, rug of, like, masterwork cave lizard scales. <laughs> Store that all in his room. Yep. Mm -hmm. That special mm -hmm. cupboard. Yep, yep. Pre make himself presentable. If we ever, ever ran this, like, really, we can all buy plus for it. Plus for it. <laughs> and weapons. True. For, for the amount of luxuries he has embezzled. That's right, embezzled. And I imagine all of the requested magic items are complete. <clears throat> Hooray. Awesome, I'll remove the money then. <laughs> now you're paid. Uh, let's see, Grimbiff talk. So what fantastical magical items did you all get? Oh, just stuff. You know... Nothing of importance. Move that quartz, and I'll uh, carry tons of stuff. Because she has a feeling that the lizard will not, even though it is useful, it will not survive the night <laughs> soon. Hmm. Well. Well, she'll need to carry her own stuff. Beyond that, she, she got herself a quick run of shirt, so she can uh, get an extra move action at some point. That's good for channeling. And uh, then some uh, some boots of striding and spring that moves her uh, her movement speed up by ten feet to forty. What oh, was the name of the shirt? The shirt? Yes. As the quick runner shirt. You can make a, uh, once per day, you can make a swift action into a move action. Or gain a move action. All right. Use a swift action to do so, I suppose. You know, okay, in case you want to spend five charges of channeling one round. <laughs> Penta channeling. Well, you shouldn't be triple channeling, but you should be using five charges. Yeah. All right. Or she can move and double channel. <laughs> what did the others get? Um, headband of alluring charisma plus two. My cloak of resistance plus two, and I got a <laughs> a belt for Takari. Uh, okay, more <laughs> collar, I suppose. Yeah, belt of giant and strength belt. plus two. The the Takari um, wear pants. Doesn't that sort of fall to the ground every time it disappears? No, when he no, when he when he's desummoned, I want to desummon with their equipment and resummon with it, same as summon monsters. Okay. Uh, does that mean Tristan's charisma is now eighteen? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna mark that on the army sheet. Mm -hmm. There you go. Weirdly enough, the two martial characters are the worst commanders. Well, well, no, we're the worst at changing tactics, but we're the best at keeping um. We're best at keeping line in position because we don't need to change tactics clearly. For some reason, and, um, it just looks just more luscious today. Hmm. The headband of lusciousness. It's probably that beautiful headband wrought with uh, small sapphires. Mm. <laughs> no expense was spared. That's right. 
and all the crazy magical reagents and shit. Reeling it at oh, little movie wipe off a bit of sapphire dust on this end of the table. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that just got that stuff. Anything for Rain or Sin? Nope. No. Uh, not recently, no. Okay, okay. And then, and then, uh, as for Rillin it, other than uh, his boots suddenly being less fabulous, there's now like this crazy sort of like uh, the shimmering like white, like I guess like a funeral shroud thing that's been like sort of interwoven into his normal cloak. It's like mm -hmm. sort of draped over the mask now. <laughs> so now he looks yeah. even creepier. <laughs> yeah, it looks. It with, looks with, with uh, his beautiful like headband, like tiara, and you know, like the stone mask, and like his normal cloak. Now there's like a funeral <laughs> shroud thing wrapped around it all. <laughs> oh, adventurers! They look the weirdest with all the gear on. Still, still did, did not elicit as many laughs as Thorak whenever he got goggles. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Thorak and his glasses. All right, well, let's uh, start the council meeting then, shall we? Yeah. Council meeting, yeah. council meeting. Okay. <laughs> By adding the buildings that have finished. Yeah, there is a smith which finished, which we were building in Faster Vault. So Faster Vault gets you know, a smith. Woo! Yeah, I updated the city sheets. I can, however, not promise that everything is correct. It should be, but if you see any mistakes, just, you know, either fix it or tell me. I, I have added the smith to All the right, faster well, vault sheet. Be, uh... We should place it then. We have placed it. Did we already place it? Yeah, we placed it next to the um, inn. Oh, sure, sure. Because, yeah. you know, so then adventurers can run out and grab their own equipment. <laughs> mm. Absolutely, very important. Because, you know, we get so many adventurers. Trying to stop evil, like, uh. Mm. And they're trying to stop the forces of good in our situation. That's easy because there are not men down here. I mean, they're grabbing the equipment and then going up to the surface, right? Oh, there we okay. go, yes. All those crazy people who want to go to the surface for whatever stupid reason, yeah. Like, well, we, we all know that like all drow stuff is like plus three by default, right? Yeah. So. I'm just gonna let yeah, my made of metal for disappears kids. of you. Take it into the sun. I'll mute it for yeah, the group. So don't go out in the sun. Have fun with the AC. Who wants to hug you? Alright, well, friend. upkeep then. <coughs> stability first. Uh, determine I'll, kingdom stability. I'll start I need the check. For you. I don't remember out of me and Tristan who did it last time, so I'll just do it. Okay, you can do it. I have faith in you, DDS. That faith was not misplaced. Yep, you get plus you get, one uh, BP. Woo! Indeed. It takes us to 49 build points. The then we have consumption. Consumption is 6, so 49 minus 6 is 43. Right. Uh, vacant magic item slots are none. <coughs> Modify mm. unrest. You have Zero. no unrest. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're assigned leadership. Showing us, I think not. Oh. Uh, well, about that. Yes. Uh, as we get to this point, Elinary will, uh, will actually stand up and uh, shoot your really in the deck lens and look at the others and say, uh, Members of the Council, it has now been two years, a little more almost, since we began our, our reign. It has been quite the time, and we all learned so much about each other. She looks around. It is perhaps time to evaluate and see if anyone has acted uh, in ways that are not appropriate for their station. Look to everyone, see if anyone has a guilty, guilty face. <laughs> you, unisonly, around the whole table, probably. <laughs> Real in it, you know, disguises his uh, I am fucking awesome face behind the mask and the shroud. <laughs> the shroud. <laughs> shroud mask. Right, she'll linger a little real in it. Uh, and she'll uh, look to Ivy. Our gnome parties in the council have done rather well. But uh, let us hear if we can find out why. Ivy, uh, where are you from again? Ivy blinks and looks over to... Uh, Please tell the council. To uh, 
to Alunore uh, and says, Well, Matron, I am from Festivalt. Why did we not meet you in Festivalt then? Because I was fleeing from Festivalt. Why would you flee from Festivalt? I was an outcast. And why did they cast you out? They blamed me for being a thief, Matron. And how do you feel about them now? <coughs> she shrugs. I couldn't... I couldn't really say, Matron. They are still my people. I do not hate them or despise them. Good. Good. He looks on. Miku, where are you from? Miku blinks and <laughs> looks at the lorry. Well, Matron, I am from the city of Xan. You met me on the way there. And what were you doing when we encountered you? I was being trapped in a strange ooze-like substance near the, the border. That's, and what were you doing so far out of Zan? Scouting. That looks to, uh, to ruin it and then on. Tarlin. Where are you from? Tarlin uh, sits upright. Uh, there is something <coughs> uh, seemingly you know, relaxed about him. Uh, Rain, can you make a perception check? I shall. Uh, can I take ten? No. Well, uh, you see that the sort of relaxed stance Tarlin has uh, is very similar to one of his uh, uh, basically fi fighting stances. Uh, he looks relaxed, but we're pretty sure that he is ready to basically lash out at any at any point. I give a look to Alan Ari saying, <coughs> be careful. Well, he doesn't. He's not really looking at range. He's looking at Tarlin. Torlin, you know, looks around the table and says, I am uh, <coughs> from rather far away, matron. And what city is that? So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> uh, he looks around the table and then he says, I am... Um, Originally from Sinar Canaan, Matron. And why did we not encounter you there, Talin? He quirks an eyebrow. I was not aware that House Vitharia had any presence in Sinar Canaan, Matron. There are much you are not aware of, Talin, but why were you not there? Sort of quirks an eyebrow. <clears throat> My business took me elsewhere. He looks at you and says, uh, continue. He shrugs. I uh, was engaged in a long-term operation that sadly went sour. And I had to pursue the leads elsewhere. Oh, there you Bends back, leans back in her chair a little bit. That sounds fascinating. Why don't you tell the entire story, please? Tony looks around. Looks at Lauren and says, If this is what I think it is, matron, I would much rather either speak to you in person or, if that is not possible, only with the family of House Vitharia, looking at the other people. I love him and says... I see, and why is that? Because some of my tale, matron, might uh, be best to be heard only by those of House Vithoria. 
That's interesting, Tarlin, for if such a tale would be interesting enough that it should only be for the ears of House Vitharia, it might have come up in the over two years that we've known you. Looks so it. We all have our uh, secrets and pasts, but Lord Rillard. But of course, Tarlin, I acknowledged as much, specifically whenever I talked to you shortly after taking Vargas. <coughs> Do you recall what I also said at that moment, something along the lines of, one day we would ask about such things and an answer prepared would be splendid? Yeah. Smiles and says, Yes, I remember clearly, Lord Rillard, and I have my answer. But uh, as I said, I would rather deliver it to the ruling family. He shrugs. I cannot force you to meet me in this, I suppose. And if you wish, I will tell all that is here. Oh, Larry Nods. Then do so. You have had ample time to come to us if you wish to speak alone. That time is now over. We will hear your tale. Smirks. Very well, then. <clears throat> Throws one uh, leg over the other. Leans back in his chair. I, um... Well, where to begin? Uh, the tale is, uh... A brutal one. I was <clears throat> in charge of certain operations in my house once upon a time. Uh, these operations were uh, clandestine in nature, and as such, I had received ample training in both sabotage, infiltration, assassination, and other such talents. <clears throat> I was uh, the uh, first son of House uh, Miss Rarai. Perhaps you have heard of us. Oh, there he looks at Rillinid. No? Well, let's see. Loremaster! <clears throat> yes, Brillard has heard of uh, House Miss Rye. Uh, it is one of the um, uh, known houses of uh, Sierra Canaan. Uh, they are famous for their uh, martial prowess, uh, their assassins, spies, and informants. Um, <clears throat> uh, and they are said to uh, worship the demon lord. Let's see here if I can find her. You need help? Oh, I got it. Uh, uh, Nocticula is the demon patron <sighs> oh. of House Miss Rai. The Lady in Shadow, the demon lord of darkness and lust. Yes. Jonas needs more help than any of us could give him at this point in his life. So. No, I, I had, I had it right. up right uh. at the moment. So. Oh, okay. So, uh, it was just in case he needed, I could paste, paste it quickly oh, to him. Probably not going to know this thing. So. As such, he uh, totally leads back, uh, you know, even further. As such, I am noble born, and well, the operation in which I was involved was quite the elaborate one. We tried to assassinate a well, a competing house, a quite the complex affair. You understand, my lords. But the affair went sour. Uh, someone leaked information. I'm not sure exactly who, but I found myself suddenly <coughs> not in a position of power, but in a position of terrified flight from my homeland. It was clear to me that I had to leave the city, for I had been uh, banished by my house for the botched operation, and a price put on my head. Is this city uh, further from Vothis than Tarissia is, Jonas? Yes. Okay. In that case, Rillanid will uh, 
as he is wont to do, like, actually pull off one of the gloves and begin, like, pressing against the knuckles to start cracking them, you know, offhandedly, and say, Then you have traveled farther than we have in your flight to get to Vorthus, Tarlan. He, uh, he nods, yes. I have traveled far indeed. Mm, I was a hellbent on finding who exactly destroyed my reputation and forced me to be a, to be a cast out in a throwaway and a shame to my house. The signs all pointed towards Teresia. The problem was, of course, that I was known in Teresia as well. Looks around. I could not easily approach the city, and therefore I decided to lay low for quite some time in the hopes that I would be forgotten. And when House Vitharia came along with ambitious plans and little hope of succeeding, I realized that this might be one of my greatest chances. Oh, there Smiles. he frowns deeply. Smiles. I have put my talents at your disposal, my lords, and I have been helpful as far as I can understand. The, um, the uh, council can surely attest to that. My uh, any traces I have left, any leads that takes me to Teresia is uh, by now probably long gone or dead. It was quite some time ago, after all. What house were you trying to eradicate? And there is says, says to him, sort of her voice like silk. <coughs> Hang on. Now, now, currently, she's trying to see if he's lying very badly. But there's one how she would not accept him trying to assassinate. <laughs> of course. I, I imagine the entire council, maybe almost the entire council, is just looking at Darling, eyeballing him. Even Sand Sandor with his crazy eyes. 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 Yes. Sandor is the serious looking. His eyes. Yeah. I think the only one who's not looking at all in his prison, she's just looking at her hands. She's like, oh shit, what's going on happen? The house we were targeting, Metron, was <coughs> House Sardavik. I feel like I'm sure Rillin did a look, trying to see some sort of response that, that means... Rillin would know that House Sardavik is renowned for... Uh, <clears throat> for many things. Uh, they are generally scholars. Um, they are uh, like archaeologists um, and also have produced uh, the one, uh, one of the most famous artists uh, of the city. They are followers of Sokol Benoth. The I, I, I had imagined they had a, uh, a different one. Ah, Articula and Sokol Benoth. Hmm. Okay. Real and did. Uh, gives in a sort of an approving gesture at Elinary. All right. I'll lean back. You said there was a price on your head. Indeed, matron. How much are we talking about? He shrugs. I do not know. Once upon a time, the bounty was, I think, 10,000 gold. I do not know if the bounty still stands or if it has disappeared. It will not. Slightly improvingly to it. So I suppose we will see in time. Now, your, your reasons for keeping this information from us? Yeah, smile. Besides the obvious. Well, of course, if, uh, if a outcast and desperate noble house as you were when we first met matron uh, such a bounty on my head could entice you to uh, try to collect that bounty something i did not wish my whereabouts has been hidden for genera for a generation almost <laughs> 
Rillin it leans back and, and sort of the, 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 the actual, like, his emotion breaks through the stone. As if we could have collected on that, darling. <laughs> Tallis smiles. There are many ways to collect a bounty, Lord Rillin. Uh, any leaking out of my position here might have called in uh, some unwanted attention. Along with the little, little escapees of House Vitharia, we would not have done such. One cannot be too careful. My enemies were powerful once upon a time. If they're still looking for me, I'd rather not paint a obvious target on myself. And certainly there are least, less intelligent ones who would suicide themselves. Nods, indeed. I have fought off bounty hunters and assassins for quite some time. I have grown skilled at it. I'll now we'll look to, uh, to Rain, sort of uh, giving him uh, an eye, telling him to, uh, to ask his questions. I must ask something, Talon. I understand you were, you were of course, trying to, to hide, hide things. It's been the, t the t course of two years had passed, and you'd was you thinking of just keeping this hidden, or was you thinking of something else? It looks over to uh, to Rinkalar. I am not sure what you are implying, my lord. I am very unsure. We, have, you, you of course, you try hidden, hiding your past, which you have given some explanation to, to why. For a combination of just refusing to tell us and and some hidden lies along the way, which is, of course, a drow way with anything. My question is, would you ever thinking of actually revealing this information to us? Giving a curious, slightly annoyed about the whole lie thing look? He, he seems to think, yes, perhaps some way down the line. I did not think I could evade questions for an eternity. But I thought the more time I had to prove myself useful and capable, the less was the chance that I would be viewed with um, hmm, a hostile or callous eyes. He smiles. And then you mean to tell us that you are worth these 10,000 gold pieces. Uh, you must then have been holding back some of your capabilities. Seems to consider, and slowly nods, I have been trained by uh, some of the foremost masters of weapons, tactics, and assassination matron. And beyond that? He quirks an eyebrow. Uh, beyond that, I have, of course, received the schooling necessary for a male in my position. A proper court etiquette, uh, discernment of lies and other things. A powerful enchantments have been wrought into my flesh when I was little. Things and magics that render me difficult to locate. That was that's been noticed already. You know, so I assume as much. I, I was cu I was curious about that. Uh, well, my my house trained me to be. Uh, their top assassin matron. No expense was spared in my training. And yet you failed. He nods. Indeed I did. Betrayal. Our target knew that we were coming and uh, led us into a trap. Someone must have tipped them off. As I said, my trails led towards Teresia, but they have since grown cold. I have not been able to approach the city for, well, for a very long time. So then, you still wish to bring revenge to whoever sought this? My wish is that those responsible will reap what they have sown, Matron. She will, she will try to gaze if he's genuine in his uh, words. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. He, uh, he seems genuine to, uh, to Alnari. He seems genuine also to Rain. Uh, and then we are the only reason you could ever hope to return. A uh, campaign of uh, such proportions that when you face such enemies, it is hard to go against uh, on your own, matron. And surely you understand this as well. It sort of motions to the whole council. The um, Yes, I viewed House of Etharia as uh, my one chance at perhaps finally sliding my blades into the neck of whoever did this to me. And if you continue to serve well and fit your station, perhaps we will make such a priority. Now, is there anything else you wish to say? Confess or tell us before we ask. Eyes are staring into him. More secrets will not be appreciated as well as these have been. He flashes a, a wry smile. I have been alive for a long time, Matron. Uh, my life tale is a long and uh, complicated one. I'd rather not bore all of the council. I am, of course, willing to answer any questions. I see little point at hiding anymore. She looks to rain and reel in it. See if they're satisfied or more questions. Build it, shrugs. Rain is clearly curious, but he, he's clearly not going to ask any more questions for the time being. Well, there he nods, then. <laughs> 